A loud sound starts to fill my bedroom and my eyes slowly peel open. I wonder to myself how it could possibly be morning already. If I were to get up right now, I'd have two hours to get ready for the day. Even though the night before I swore I'd get up early this time, I reset my alarm for an hour later. I crawl back into my warm blankets. What feels like only seconds later, that now very annoying sound fills my room again. Disappointed that I don't feel any more rested, I slide out of bed. Slowly. I'm hunched over and fantasizing about 80 hours of straight sleep. I throw my hair up into a messy bun, apply minimal makeup, and throw on the first pair of work pants and shirt I see. I head to the kitchen to throw the easiest and quickest meal into a lunch bag and scramble out the door, usually forgetting a thing or two. I fly to work and arrive just in time or a few minutes late. The morning of rushing and being frantic has set the tone for the day and I feel rushed and off balance for my entire shift. When I get home, I feel exhausted, so I lay around and scroll mindlessly through social media or watch a movie. The evening slips away from me, and before I know it, it's late, and the tasks I wanted to get done have not been completed. I get up and frantically begin working on them. Again, time slips between my fingers, and now it's very late. I'm far too tired to prep for morning or work out. So I decide to do it in the morning. I tell myself, I'll get up early this time. Suddenly, it's morning, and that dreaded sound is playing on my phone, telling me it's time to get up for the day. I hit snooze and fall back asleep. Have you ever been caught in this cycle? I've been there so many times, but I always push myself to be aware of it. Self-awareness is an amazing gift that you can give to yourself. Even though it can be uncomfortable at times, it gives you a wide open door to opportunities for improving yourself and your life. I used to live in this awful cycle of poor time management and had an awful track record of being late to everything, all the time. It did no good for my self-worth or my confidence. Even now, I occasionally start to slip into the cycle, but I have a solid game plan to pull myself out of it. It works every time. I lived this way for years and finally decided I had enough. I started asking for advice from others who always seemed to be calm and early to everything, the opposite of myself at the time. Over the next couple years, I read book after book on time management. I didn't wake up one day and suddenly arrive early to everything, nor am I early to everything to this day. It was a gradual learning process and I will continue to be working on this in my own life as long as I live. We are all students and always will be. I will continue to learn the concepts of time management and work to master them. The key things that have really helped me prioritize focus, show up early, and most importantly, all while feeling calm and collected are as follows. 1. Cut out the big time wasters, especially if they don't bring happiness. The most obvious one for me is social media. It can be so addicting and definitely doesn't always bring me joy. Sometimes it even brings us the opposite, low self-esteem, jealousy, or frustration. What really do we gain from hours each day scrolling through our newsfeed? I'm not saying social media doesn't have its place. It can be an amazing communication and networking tool. I'm just saying hours of mindless scrolling might not be adding a lot of benefit to our lives. 2. Set your own schedule. Change your arrival time earlier than needed. This way, whenever anything comes up and sets you back in your timing, you have a cushion or a safety net. For example, if you need to be at work at 9 a.m., plan your departure and drive time so that you arrive at 8.30 or 8.45. You can add any size cushion that you feel you need. This one always works wonders for me. Arriving early like this gives you time to sit and relax before you begin your day or start whatever needs to be done where you've arrived. You don't need to rush, so you're calm and focused. I have tried just setting my clocks ahead, and it didn't work because I got used to it. I ended up feeling like I had all this extra time and still found myself late all the time. Giving myself a time cushion of 15 to 30 minutes wherever I go has been the most helpful. 3. Make lists and cross things off as you do them. 
I am a huge fan of lists, whether written out on paper or on my phone in an app. Some people prefer mental lists, but I personally can't keep track of my tasks that way, at least not very successfully. My lists keep me focused and on track to reach my goals. I make sure I do the most important or the most time-consuming items first and get them out of the way. This makes the air feel a little lighter and you don't need to worry about running out of time or rushing through them later. 4. Prioritize. I'm sure that sounds obvious, but it helps so immensely to always complete tasks right away and do the harder, bigger things first. Once they're out of the way, you can breathe. I make sure I take care of the tasks that are most important to me or have high priority first. When I do this, I end up with all of this extra time, as if by magic. It's an incredible feeling. These key points do help me immensely with living more productively and also relaxed. However, I still fall out of this routine now and then. These are my basic steps, and whenever I feel life start to get chaotic, as it has been feeling lately, I come back to them. It works every time. Explore the possibilities of taking control of your schedule and your life.